Hi, I'm Ann Little. I'm Executive Director of Tree Fredericksburg, and I'm also the President of Trees Virginia, which is Virginia's Urban Forest Council. So the reason that we want to have native plants and trees versus uh, non-native, um, people love the idea of having exotic things that are beautiful, but they don't feed our wildlife. So if you look at uh, Kusa dogwood, it supports one species versus our native dogwood supports over 150 species. So which one do we want to do? We want to have birds, butterflies, bees. We want to have all of these things, but if we don't have the food for them, they're not going to survive. So when you get a plant from the nursery, a tree especially, you're going to want to take it out of the pot and take a look at it. And what we're going to see here is it looks like soil, but it really isn't. This is ground up mulch. And if you leave that on there, it's going to dry out. And if it dries out, then it's going to dry out the, the baby roots in there as well. And they're not going to do as well. So what we're going to do is try to take this ground up mulch off. And the easiest way to do that in the gentlest way is to use water. So you can use a pretty uh, aggressive spray on the tree and just get that mulch off. Don't worry, you're not going to damage the tree. The main thing you need to do is keep the, the roots moist at all times. So I've got most of that mulch median off. There's still a little bit there, but we don't have to be crazy about it. And if you look really close, you can see some of them are real white. And that's the newest roots. And that's what we want to see on a tree is we want to see lots of those small feeder roots. And all of these roots now are kind of free of that mulch, which will then put up against the native soil, which then will enable that tree to uptake nutrients and moisture right away. Okay, so I'm going to tease this away a little bit and you can see this is what we call the root flare. And then on the other side is the other root flare. Usually there's one on each side. Not always, but mostly. And then we're going to turn this around and I'm going to show you that this root, you can see, must have hit the side of the pot and now it's turned around and it's coming back. And that's not a good thing because we want the tree to go out, not in. So what I'm going to do is I'm teasing again with my hand and I'm going to take a little bit of a cut on this right here and allow that to kind of release itself and see if that's going to work. Also, I'm going to look on this side and you'll see that that root is kind of coming back also. And so we're going to think about this. Where is that root going to go? And if we make sure that the root is going away from the tree, that's the main thing that we want to do. And I think pretty much I've got that happening all the way through. And it's only important right up here at the top of the tree. Okay, so one of the tenets that we really focus on is right tree, right place. Um, if you're going to be putting a tree near your house, you want to put it far enough away that it's not going to grow into your house or actually uh, become a danger to your house. And then you're going to say, well, I'm going to take this tree down after 10 years. You want to think through. Just because we're looking at a little tiny tree doesn't mean it's not going to get 50, 60 feet you know, in, in the eventuality. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put our baby tree in here. And we're going to check and make sure that the buttress roots are above soil line. So we're going to, a good way to use it is a shovel or a, there's a, just a stake here. So we can see the buttress root is above the soil level when we plant it. What we're going to try to do is we try to break up, these are called pads. We try to break those up into smaller little clumps because that allows the nematodes and the worms and all the little critters to go through there. So there's a pad that I'm breaking up, and when they go through, they create more oxygen tunnels, again, for the tree. This soil's got nutrients, and there's a little worm, so we're gonna make sure he stays in there. And we don't wanna push on it too hard, because if we push on it too hard, we take out all the oxygen again. And taking out the oxygen, what? 
or it's the tree. Because the soil was moist, I'm going to just take my toe and gently tap around a little bit just to make sure that there's no air pockets because you don't want air pockets against the roots because if there's air pockets, the roots will rot and die. Because this tree is so tall, we're going to stake it. One is going to be to the windward side, so we know the wind blows from this side. We're going to put this, and notice I've got some really tall stakes. I probably don't need this tall of a stake, but we're going to do it anyway, because this is what I have. And Adam and I are going to put this in together. So you see the tree is moving a little bit in the wind, and that's good because that stimulates the roots. So you want the roots to be stimulated again to get them growing. After six months, we'll take this off and the roots should have stabilized it. We'll check to make sure. So I'll put this around and again, it should be about three inches away from the base of the trunk so the trunk doesn't stay moist. You'll notice that right now as the trunk is showing, it's moist because remember it was buried too deep. We don't want to have our mulch be any deeper than three inches deep because again, that doesn't, that is going to block oxygen from getting to the tree. The wider your mulch bed, the better because that allows those tree roots to spread far and wide. And once they can do that, you're going to have a very healthy, fast growing tree. We're tying the tree up with arbor tie. But you can use cord, anything you want. We are being gentle with the tree and making sure that we're not making it too tight. We want that tree to move a little bit. So it's going to sway in the wind and that's going to help the tree. But at the same time, it's going to get its stability until um, it's ready to take over with its roots.